Be your own best beautiful. Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and skincare, and I really love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. We're diving right in. I'm gonna show you today how I typically prep my skin for makeup application and or prep for filming. So I'm gonna dive in. We're gonna do this in real time other than the eye mask solely because you don't wanna sit here and watch me for 10 minutes. Just, you don't. I already know you don't. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my Dermatology Brightening Eye Mask. I do have a full review up on these products that I received from Dermatology. Um, I prefer the Pixi ones. They're a lot cheaper and they pretty much do the exact same thing. There's nothing wrong with these at all. They have a lot of serum on them. Um, I definitely do feel like they brighten and I feel like they brighten and they plump my skin. They feel great. They're cooling. They're energizing. Um, I solely just think that they're a little bit too pricey for an eye gel mask. So, um, you know, take that as you will. But I love, and this is post skincare. I've already done skincare. I like to make sure that I'm fully hydrated, under eyes, everything, lips and stuff like that are moisturized before I do makeup application, even if I'm doing makeup on somebody else. I think that prep and skin prep and makeup prep and skin care are so, so important. And I think oftentimes we overlook those things. So I'm gonna let these sit for like a few minutes while we talk about some other products that I use every single time that I film. I'm gonna seal these up well. Next up, I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite eye drops ever. These are the Lumify Anti-Redness Eye Drops. Y'all, these are expensive as hell now. If anything else whitened my eyes the way that these do, <laughs> I would not use these and I would try to find something different. I discovered these in a pinch me box that I received free a few years back and I fell in love with these, especially somebody like me that has sensitive eyes, reactive eyes, and allergies. I'm literally allergic to everything. So my eyes always look red and crazy. Um, I love these. They used to be $11.97. They're now $22. Why? But you can go in with any kind of eye drop. I like to do the eye drops solely because they just brighten and freshen up. And then of course, being under a fan and working with powdered products and things like that, sometimes my allergies can get a little bit flared up. So we'll do a couple drops of eye drops as well. So I'll go in and do a couple of drops. And if you've used these before, please comment down below and let us know. Um, they're fantastic. I really, really like these a whole, whole lot. I feel like they, you know, they whiten and brighten and they, they do the job. They do what they're supposed to do. Next up, I go in with a lip scrub. Right now I'm using this one I got in, I think a BoxyCharm. It's called the Amina and it's the Macaron. Um, this one is beautifully whipped. The texture and everything, the scent and everything is really nice. I like one that's a little more aggressive. That's personal preference. Of course you do you, do what makes you feel like the best version of yourself. Um, so I'm gonna get up close. And you can see my lips are very dry. I've been sick. I'm getting over being sick, um, but they're very dry. And I want you to notice the color of my lips prior to the scrub. So take a close look. And all you have to do is put it on the lips. I'm going to close my mouth. We'll scrub for just a second and then I'll wipe it off. You'll also notice I go slightly around the lips as well, not just doing the lips. I will say, even though this is, this is probably the perfect mid-ground if you don't like something that's super aggressive. Um, I don't want something that's so aggressive that it's cutting my lips. Um, and I do like the fact that this does have some oil in it, so it also hydrates as, as well, and it doesn't dry out the lips. But I want you to see, the true color of my lips is really kind of coming through. It took all the dead skin and stuff like that off. Um, I think doing a lip scrub, especially if you do wear matte liquid lipsticks, I know not a lot of us do now, um, and or you know that you constantly have dry lips, lifesaver, game changer. Next, I always go in with some type of a lip treatment or I'll go in with a balm or lip oil or something like that. Today, I'm gonna go with the Fenty Skin Plush Puddin Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. I love everything that Fenty does. Um, they're fantastic. The delivery system here, you just kind of roll it up a little bit. I will note that this is very, very emollient, very thick and very dense. It's more of an like, like intensive overnight type treatment, but I do wanna show it to you guys. And I just wanna show the difference in the lips 
in just a few minutes. I'm also trying to make sure that I do these types of videos um, kind of in real time so you guys can really see what I'm doing um, and I'm hoping to make this be a series where we just follow along with one another whether it's a brow tutorial whether we're doing you know our base whether we're doing an eye look so I'm really looking forward to that I hope that you guys are on board with that also I'm always open for recommendations and suggestions from you guys so comment your ideas down below but here are our lips they are nice and hydrated. The true color of my lips has come forward. My eyes look bright and open and wide awake. We're gonna take these off. I normally let these sit a good 10 to 15 minutes, um, but obviously we're not gonna do that today. And I just take whatever serum is remaining. I actually bring it onto my eyelid. And with skincare or treatments, you wanna go upwards. And as you can see, there's plenty of serum left on these and it really, really hydrates and are they and they really do a good job of hydrating. Again, not a bad product. I just feel like they're overpriced in my opinion. And then the last two things that I go in with, I either go in with the Kinship Bright Wave Energizing Brightening Eye Cream. I have multiples of these now. And then I also received the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. So I've kind of been going back and forth between the two of these. Um, I might wait just a second on this. And then the very last thing that I do just go in with some kind of essence some kind of a spray some kind of a toner or something like that just at the very end just so I know for sure prior to makeup application that my skin is as supple and as hydrated as it can be especially because you have very dry skin so I'm going in with the tower 28 SOS spray and this stuff is fantastic especially if you are somebody like me that you have rosacea you have reactive skin very red skin or very sensitive skin so I feel like everything should be dry enough. Everything should be set in place. I'm gonna go in with the Ola Hendrickson. The first time that I used this, I actually demoed it with you guys when I got it in my boxy charm, I believe it was. Um, I didn't notice a huge difference, but keep in mind I'm under a very bright light. When I watched it back though, the difference was beautiful. And when I saw myself in like a real mirror in real light, it also looked very beautiful. I will note it's not as creamy as I thought it was gonna be. So I take it. And I kind of put it onto my hand first and just warm it up just a little bit. And then I start at the inner corner of my eye and do one sweeping motion. Inner corner of my eye and then one sweeping motion. And then one sweeping motion. That is all that you need. You do not need a lot of product. And then I'll go in with a little bit that is on my finger, that is on my hand with my ring finger. This puts the least amount of pressure onto our skin. And I do like to put this on the actual lid. And then again, very slowly and very delicate, delicately, <laughs> I will make sure that that is blended in. This also offers hydration. It really brightens the under eyes. And I just, I really like it. I've really, really been loving this thus far. I feel like I like the Kinship a little bit more. Um, I just and that may just be because I've used it for you know a little bit longer but hopefully you guys can see that it really does brighten the under eyes um, and if you are new here I don't traditionally use I don't traditionally use concealer because I do have such dry textured skin um, and of course as we mature a lot of times less is more so I like this I like that it gives me a little kiss of coverage it brightens it awakens my face I just feel fresh and I just I feel great um, but that is how I prep for every single video with you guys hopefully you guys like this hopefully it was informative in some kind of way I would like to know how you prep not necessarily your skincare steps but if you're gonna sit down and you are filming and or you're about to do a full face of makeup how do you prep how do you prep your skin prior to um, I would like to know next up is gonna be a full-on follow along brow tutorial I'm really excited about that because y'all know you know me and them 90s, y'all. My man got no brows left, but um, it is what it is. I love you, beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your um, best beautiful. Bye, beauties.